Hi, this is Tech Enthusiast, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to make your Windows 11 look like the latest macOS version called macOS Sonoma. I will show you how you can exactly change Windows 11 taskbar to the macOS dock, add the menu bar at the top of your screen, add the macOS Sonoma inspired widgets on your desktop, and on top of that, I will also show you how you can change the Windows cursor to the macOS one, and of course, much more. All the required files will be linked in the video description right below the like button. And by the way, if you are interested in my current desktop wallpaper, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. First, let's customize Windows 11 taskbar so it will look like the macOS Dock. We will need to install two third-party programs to achieve that. If you open right now Microsoft Store, you can then search first for the program which is called Rounded TB. Click on the app here and then you can press Get to install this application. And then you will basically repeat the process for the Translucent TB as well, which is actually compatible with this program Rounded TB. And once you have installed Rounded TB and Translucent TB, First, let's open the Rounded TB application. So on Microsoft Store, you can just press open here and then click on OK here. You can click here on the advanced and then you can enable here dynamic mode. I will also enable show system tray on hover and also I will enable translucent TB compatibility as well as fill taskbar when maximized. If you want to, you can also play with this margin and corner radius values. Then if I click apply here, we can close right now the Rounded TB. If you hover over the system tray at the bottom here, you can open this arrow and then you can right click on the rounded TB and make sure that it's checked here, run at startup. Now we can already see that the taskbar looks kind of messed up. So to fix this issue, if you have it also already, you can then right click here, go to the taskbar settings, scroll down to the taskbar behaviors, select here from center to the left, and then once again, select here center. And then if I minimize the settings, you can already see that we fixed that issue with the rounded TB. Now let's open the translucent TB as well, and then click continue here. And now we also have this translucent TB here in the system tray. We can right click here, go to the desktop, and then I will select here acrylic for the theme. You can already see this shadow behind the taskbar. And what I will do right now is to go to the settings, go to the personalization, go to the colors, and then change the mode from light to the dark. So this is it. Now I can close the window settings, go back to the translucent TB, go to the desktop here. And here I will select the accent color, go to this last option here. I will drag all of these parameters to the right. So here will be the white color. And right now I will increase this value to let's say something like 100. Click on the check mark. And this is pretty much it for the taskbar, which I think looks absolutely fantastic at the moment. So if you want, you can also customize this search icon inside the taskbar. So you can basically go here to the settings, then you can go here to the personalization. And here you can go to the taskbar. And for the search, you can then select whichever icon you prefer. I only prefer search icon only, which looks like this. So this is actually pretty much it for the taskbar modification. So right now, I think it actually looks like the macOS dock on Windows. And now let's change the wallpaper to the macOS Sonoma one. So let's open the Microsoft Store. And on Microsoft Store, you will need to search for the Win Dynamic Desktop. So this is basically the app which allows you to enable the dark and also the light versions of the wallpaper from the macOS on Windows PCs. So here you will just click on Get to install this application as well. When Win Dynamic Desktop is installed, click on Open here on the Microsoft Store. Click on OK here. Then you will need to enter your location and then you will need to here scroll down and select here Sonoma abstract wallpaper, click on download here, and then you can just click apply. And it will also change depending of the time of the day. So if you want to preview the dark version of the wallpaper, then you can just hover over the system tray at the bottom. Then you can right click on the Win Dynamic desktop and here you can enable night mode if you want to. Now let's at the macOS Sonoma inspired widgets on our Windows 11 desktop. So 
Let's open your web browser and you will need to search for the rain meter and then you will need to install the rain meter on your system. So just press on the this blue download button and you will get the rain meter access file here on the installer click next and then once again install. And once you have rain meter installed, you should also see it here running in the system tray. Now we will need to install a few of the skins for the rain meter. So for the Sonoma widgets on our desktop. So let's open the the web browser once again and let's search for the Monterey rain meter. Click on this GitHub page, click on the releases here, then you can select on this .rm skin file and then click on it and then you can click install here. Once you have this widget pack installed, you can then go back to the system tray, open the rain meter here, click on the Monterey folder here and then you will need to press on the settings.ini file. So once you open this, you can then configure the widgets on your desktop. So here I will go to the appearance first and change the theme to the blur. And then we can go here to the widgets and add, let's say, clock to our desktop like so. We can also add the calendar, monitoring, weather, and let's say also the notes. And now what you will need to do is to change the position and also configure the sizes of all of those widgets. So if you want, you can then just right click on each and every single widget that you have on your desktop. And then here you can pick the sizes and here you can also change the location. So here it's first set to Almaty, but if you want, you can click edit the weather, select here the city, and then you can just, let's say type in London, press enter and click save. And now we have London for your location on your weather widget. So these are basically the widgets. If you want, you can also then play around with them and configure them as you want. Now, I think this is it for those widgets, but we still need the menu bar from the macOS. So we will need to just open the web browser once again, and then we can search for the Droptop 4. And let's go to this first page, droptop4.com. Click on download here and you can, if you want, you can get the supporter version or just free version, which I will get right now. Click on the Droptop basic version.rm skin file and then install. And after successful installation, you should see this screen. Click continue here and then click English for the language. Click continue. Then I will select here desktop only for the menu bar. For the configuration, I will select here desktop. And here I will select the location as London as well. Click continue. Here I will select this Apple as a home button. And for the size of the drop down bar, I will select here mini. But keep in mind that you can also configure all of these settings after the setup. So here I will click continue. And then I will select here Big Sur theme. Click here maybe later and then finish setup. So as you can see, we already also have the menu bar at the top of our screen. We also have the macOS Sonoma inspired widgets on our desktop as well. And also the macOS dock at the bottom of our screen. So what we will still need to do is to change our cursor. I hope you guys don't mind this big cursor right now, which I'm currently using for this tutorial. So to change this cursor, you will then first go to your web browser and search for the macOS cursor for Windows. And then you will go to this GitHub page. Here you will go to the releases and select here source code. Open the .7-zip file, click here on the extract. And once you extracted the file, you can just open the folder inside here. And then I will select here Sierra and newer. I will select here no shadow. I will select normal size. And here you will see this installation file. So you will need to right click on this file, click on the install here, click on open and this should install the brand new cursor. And once you have the macOS cursor installed, you can then just open the start menu and search for the mouse and select here, change the mouse pointer display or speed. Then you will here navigate to the pointers, select the macOS one, and then you can just press apply. So you also have right now the macOS cursor with the addition of the widgets on your desktop, the macOS Sonoma wallpaper, as well as the menu bar at the top of your screen. So I think this is pretty much it for this customization. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me. Like this video if you haven't already as well. 
and uh, all the required files are also linked in the video description. If you want, you can also check out the first link in the video description for my brand new wallpaper pack. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I see you all in the next video. Peace.